Hello, my name is Cole Deggs. I'm from Lake Jackson, Texas. And I'm gonna attempt to answer these questions while I'm driving down the road. I describe myself as a singer, songwriter, musician. I've been doing it since I was a kid, classically trained pianist. Starting at the age of five, started writing songs when probably around eight or nine years old. I've made a living being a songwriter in the in Nashville for the last 20 years and just recently moved to Texas to put a band together and start playing again. I hadn't been playing in a long time, so. Um, I am I am a working musician as well, which is the number two question. I, uh, I stay busy, I stay pretty booked up in Texas playing. Like I said, I've been in Nashville for 20 years. So I'm just balancing both worlds right now, the writing end of it and the playing end in Texas. I've been singing. I think my first lead role was in a musical when I was in fourth grade. I think I sang four or five songs and acted out a bunch of stuff. Um, my singing style is pretty north and south end of the magnet. It's it's uh, I got a lot of rock and roll in me. I grew up listening to Led Zeppelin and stuff, but also went to bed listening to. Willie Nelson, Merle Haggard, Roger Miller. Uh, so I've got some rock in me, but I, I, I like to write country songs too as well. Do I have a boyfriend, girlfriend, or spouse? I do have a girlfriend. Next question, number six. Uh, what would they think if I left to go on tour? be perfectly fine with it every uh, I stay on tour so anybody anybody and everybody knows that let's see here number seven tell us I first sang in front of an audience well like like I said a minute ago about fourth grade I guess I was probably about nine or ten years old and uh, had my first lead role in a musical would you like to buy a donkey he's by far the best I've got and I have a special sale on, so if you act today, you'll save a lot. That was one of them. I live in Lake Jackson, Texas now, where I was born and raised. I came home last year to take care of my mother, who passed away of cancer, and I've just been down here enjoying home and flying back to Nashville when I can. Oops, sorry about that. Uh any traditions on tour I don't know what that means <laughs> sorry uh, traditions of playing music having a good time would you rather stay in or go out I you know in my last few years I don't go out very much I'd rather stay in and get up and go hunting in the morning or fishing or something so uh, a typical now night on tour or out with friends well that's you know I toured a lot in Nashville I had a record deal on Sony at one time and I toured a lot and the typical night was play music sweat win fans over and then watch a bunch of other people play music. It's pretty awesome. I do travel well with others. By the way, I'm reading this off my laptop, so that's why I keep looking over there. Um, typical night out with friends. You know, golly. Just uh, sitting around picking guitars, drinking some beer, hanging out, you know. Don't get too rowdy anymore. Where do I perform? I perform at a bunch of honky tonks in Texas. I'm doing, um, opening up for Merle Haggard in uh, about in October. Opening up for Travis Tritt in October. Um, playing, just staying booked up in Texas as much as I can all the time. Um, craziest things happened on stage to me. Oh, I think my brother spun his guitar and hit me in the face one time. 
knocked my face off, almost. Let's see. Do I have fans? Yeah, I got fans. I got some awesome fans, by the way. What's the craziest thing a fan has done? Next question. What does your family think of your dream to be a star? When I was 12, they didn't like it, but now they love it. Why do I want to be on a show? It's a show about writing music, and that's what I do. I sing and write, play and perform, and just bring it on. Let's try it. Let's give it a whirl. Let's see. Um, why do you want? Oh, sorry. <laughs> why do I want to be a country superstar? Well, let's see here. I don't know. I think that just all that's all secondary to me. I don't know. I've never set out to be to be a country music superstar. I just wanted to play music, write music. You know, I guess if that comes along with it, then so be it. Fun stuff. Um so yeah. It's only six minutes. Wow. It felt like forty five minutes just now. Anyway, I'll take my glasses off. Hello, everybody. And uh yeah, like I said, I made made a living in the music business for the last 20 years in Nashville. And I wrote Gary Allen's last single off his uh, last record. And had a Kenny Chesney cut and some Tracy Bird song. Record, uh, listen to me. Tracy Bird recorded one of my songs. Andy Griggs, Jason Michael Carroll. I had a bunch of songs to cut. And the Lord's been very kind to me and allowed me to make a living at it so that wraps about that's about wraps it up right there so i am uh pulling into my dad's to deliver an edger i will see y'all soon have a good day adios